everyone, it's Emily here, and today's video features two stamp sets from the latest Evelyn T Designs release. I'm using Floral Surprise, which is one large beautiful image, but I'm only going to use part of it this time to show its versatility. In my release video for this stamp set, I also talked about combining it with Positivity, because I thought they'd go well together to remind a friend it's time to get together for a cup of coffee. I thought it would be cute to make tags for a coffee gift. For the tag, I'm going to use Studio Katia's dotted pattern set one die. After I die cut the tags from Bristol cardstock, I stamped the floral surprise image on the bottom right hand corner using Gina K Amalgam Ink. I chose a different part of the image for both tags. I also stamped the images from Positivity and start to watercolor with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. This is only my second time using these markers. I've had them forever and never got into them, but I do love watercoloring, and everyone tells me these are easy to use, so I'm going to make an effort to make good use of the money I spent on them. After all, I did purchase the full 80 marker set at the time. They released 10 new colors last year, but I won't need those immediately. I learned a few things as I colored these images. I don't need to lay down very much color from the markers themselves. I use a water brush with the barrel empty, and I just wet it in a cup and wipe the excess off on a paper towel. Using Bristol cardstock allows the color to move easily, and I love the vibrant colors. After the images are finished and dried, I fussy cut them, leaving a slight border. Then I set them aside and color the tags. I'm only showing my coloring of one of the tags to save time and keep the video at a decent length since the image is similar. I thought that the dotted line on the die would cause the color to pool the way other watercolors do, but they didn't. And I really like that about the zigs. I'm going to put on some music and speed through the coloring process. After the coloring is done, I go over the edges of the entire image with lavender to create a subtle shadow, and also to match the fairy's wings. When the tags are dry, I stamp the sentiments in both tags and die cut another layer of tags from craft cardstock. I use my tape runner to attach and offset them, and since the hole needs to be repunched, it's easier to use the long reach crocodile punch instead of trying to line up the die and possibly botch it since I'd be die cutting through two layers of cardstock. Next, I adhere the images with glue dots and cut hemp cord for the ties. Whenever I cut ribbon or twine for tags, I always make it one and a half times the length of the tag. I find this length looks best. This is not true in the case of bookmarks, of course, just tags. I loop the cord and feed it through from the front to back. But if you'd rather not see the loop at the top of the tag, you can do it from the other side. To finish, I add Studio Katia's Arctic Breeze Pearls in three sizes using their glue and embellishment wand. Now my tags are done. These would look so cute tied to bags of coffee beans or a mug filled with treats. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. As always, you can find all the details, more photos, and a full supply list on my blog. Thanks so much for watching!